What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Knights of Wars HHN coverage. Uh, today, we are here to discuss something very important that not Claire Farm can learn from. And that's the release of a frequent fear pass. Dots, release season passes. It's not going to happen, I know, but, you know, a, a boy can dream. Uh, but we're not here to talk about that. So we're here to talk about HHN. Tony, why don't you tell us about what's going down? Yeah, so uh, last week when they did the uh, final announcements for Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, they finally came out with frequent fear passes, something John Murdy said at the Awaken the Spirits panel that it was only days away from happening. He was not lying because literally days was two. So uh, Monday morning we were graced with a bunch of uh, Halloween Horror Nights announcements for Halloween 4, the return of the Terror Tram and the theme, some scare zones. Uh, yeah. shows and of course the frequent fear passes now yeah. this check year, out yesterday's video yes, yes. if check you want to hear more video. about that we uh broke down all the announcements and talked about them but today uh we're going to share with you what each frequent fear pass does there's only two this season because i think they're limiting because of capacity and whatnot but they were still nice enough to even release them and they are a bit pricey this year so keep that in mind uh so frequent fear pass your standard one and this is the uh, the experience that scares over and over with a frequent fear pass and get general admission to this year's event up to 26 nights of the event. That is going for $199. So you're going to spend a pretty penny if you want to go every night, which in a long run will save you a ton of money because you're paying from basically if you go almost every weekend, you only have to go like three or four times and it pays for itself. So um, works out good. Um, and also depending on the nights you go because – like we said in our previous uh, ticket video for Horror Nights, uh, the more nights, the later you go in the, the year, the more expensive it gets. So uh, It's going gonna, it's gonna to all add up. Um, and then the second one they have is the Ultimate Fear Pass, which is at $329. Experience the scares over and over with an Ultimate Frequent Fear Pass for access to all 2021 event nights. Again, it does sound like a lot when you think about it, but when you actually, if you go, like I said, every weekend... Um, at least Saturdays and Sundays, it's going to pay for itself um, overall. And it is general admission, I think. Um, so uh, it's just you get to go every single night. There's no blackout dates for that. So, uh, Sammy, what are your thoughts on frequent period passes, and should people buy them? Um, well, I'll answer the first. I'll answer both questions. Um, first off, yeah, the, the passes did increase this year because I believe, if I recall correctly, in 2019, I paid, I believe, 179 for frequent the regular frequent fear and then i believe the other one was like 299 so what about like 20 30 dollars um which isn't like a super steep increase because i mean they got to make money so yeah. um but it's still it's still a hefty hefty price tag um and so i i i'm glad they did release it because um there, there's people that really enjoy to go well um <laughs> that, that, and they will go six, seven, twenty times, whatever it may be. Um, and so, I, I definitely think uh, that there is a a, a a niche market that's that's happy to buy that. Yeah, I think with this year's lineup um, and the rise of the old Pandy over here, um, I just I, I can't I can't see myself shouting out that kind of money, even if I lived in California, um, especially for the ultimate frequent fear. That's a lot of money um, just for like seven more days, six more days, six, seven more days of poor nights. But I would say like, if you live close, you can get free parking. Or, so many, Uber like or just walk or get dropped off too. Yeah. Um, then yeah, go for it. I mean, I, I think we'll discuss later on in the week. Like I think there's some mazes that are going to be great brides, um, but then there's also Halloween four. <laughs> just <laughs> flat out, stock. just flat out, just that's the worst one you can think of, huh? Well, it's just like if you've been going a long time, it's like you just seen it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a different acting cast. And like you, we had mentioned in our, our video yesterday, there's a slightly different ending, but 
Like, you, you've seen it already. Whereas, like, I feel like 2019 had a, a slamming um, maze between killer clowns. You had Stranger Things, even though it, it disappointed. Yeah. Um, you had Us. You had Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, Ghostbusters. You had so many new properties, and so many a, a diverse property list. Whereas I feel like this year we got a lot of returning things. Yeah. And just a, a sprinkle of new things. So, so I, I would say do it if you're close and you plan on going a lot. But if if not, I mean, I would say I, you should shell out that money and just get it I, I, the line for one night and guarantee yeah. you can see everything once. I, I highly agree with you. Um, being that we're only hitting it well together once, but myself solo maybe twice. Yeah. Um, it's going to give me the opportunity to go check out other things that I can put that money towards, you know, other experiences, other parks and, and, you know, like Fright Fest and Castle Dark and other home haunts and other little independent haunts that we can go check out. You know what I mean? So definitely. I, I could definitely be putting my money towards that. But uh, we are a little, a little less than about a week and a half away from Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, we are very excited here at the Nights of Horror. Um, but what do you guys think? Is it worth buying the Frequent Fear Pass? Or is it just worth getting in front of the line for one night and just enjoying that night as much as you can? Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think, what you guys are going to be purchasing ticket-wise. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you guys want to go into further extent conversation, hit us up on Instagram at the Knights of Horror and on Twitter at Knights of Horror. With all that being said, I'm your host, Anthony. That's my boy, Sam. We are the Knights of Horror. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another HHN video. You're moving into winter.